Welcome to the Tusk Reaper Gaming Channel. Please give us a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget about the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tusk Reaper Gaming. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit different than the other gaming episodes I've done. This is going to be a more of a in-depth, deep dive into how I'm leveling up my characters. More, I would say, of a of a how to make your necromancer be more powerful after you you know get to level seventy. What kind of things am I doing right before I get to level seventy? So I got some little tips and tricks that I'm I personally do. I don't know if you know them about them or not, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share them with you anyway. All right, let's get into this deep dive of a video with the necromancer in Diablo three. Now I've been accumulating these chests from like level five level five level 10 on up and that's all i've really been doing is really bounties to gather these now as you can see here as i've accumulated these are all of the um, legendaries that i've been able to find um throughout normal gaming here just doing those those uh bounties i really haven't gotten much of anything um so they're all pretty mediocre level and as you can see right now i'm 69 i should level up i just completed my first standard rift and i'm on normal so we'll go ahead and complete this and there we go level 70. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the first few chests. And see what these are in. And we're going to do all of them just to kind of see what's going on. So that's level 11. All right. So, in fact, it, it locks it in at the appropriate level of when you did it. However, you can still put these into your cube um, if you uh, need the ability out of it. It will still work the same. Um, but in any event, it's worth doing, uh, in my opinion, for the simple reason I get to uh, get all of these added parts and things that I need to advance my season so it would make it a little bit a little bit quicker so that is pretty much that we'll just dump it all out and then we'll we'll see Of course you are. I really have not been spending any of my uh, blood shards at all. Just what I have to. I've been trying to keep a max pool. I wanted to basically do the same thing with the blood shards. Tr trade those in when I hit level 70. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and grab all of these plants. And we will learn all this stuff. Yeah, I know. It's all those blood shards. You know, it's nothing like experimenting. Experimenting's fun. Half the battle in all reality. And also, one of the harder things to get, you know, are these, uh, you know, the, the jewelers. You do need some jewelers. You need like five um, of those for you to be able to advance your season, uh, typically. I think I've got four now. Yeah, nothing like... Uh, 
I'm having a bunch of blood shards ready to go as well. We'll go. See, I don't have a ton of money. <laughs> so every little bit helps at this point. Yeah, I'll just sell that stuff. There we go. See if anything dropped out of all of that. So level 20, level 66. All right, so even though it's a level 26 ring, I was still able to, you know, procure one, a ring of royal grandeur, which is going to be very key for me moving forward. I'm going to actually put that in the cube. Um, so out of all those chests, and I, I do say there, I did act one. I, I had to have done at least 10 times out of all those chests, and then I tried to balance myself uh, here, let's see here. So as you can see, Act One, I, I did at least at least two times more than any of the other acts. So uh, that gave me that possibility of getting that Ring of Royal Grandeur, and it's a low level ring. So that means the ones I did at lower level is where this thing came from. So um, to me, that's pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, we'll just go ahead and just throw on some stuff. I'll go throw that in my cube now. And then we're going to spend some, uh, spend some blood shards and see what I get out of that. Bill, good to go. There we are. First one. And I've got I've got nothing. Nothing else. So legit experiment there. Now I know I know for a fact the blood shark doesn't matter when you procure them, um, you'll be able to do what you can with them. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with pants. I've got low level pants on. So let's see here. Oh, that's nice. I'll go ahead and throw those on. And I'll put those in my cube. And then we'll do shoulders. Definitely kind of fun whenever you're, you know, get your character all, all tweaked and set up. That's going to help out a little bit. I like picking up blood shards, you just have to walk on them. Not like back in the day, point and click. All right. So, let's see here. Now, probably a weapon is going to be a good choice. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it didn't actually turn out for me. This is actually the set that the Season 17 gives the Necromancer. 
Um, so that's the build that I'm pretty much choosing to do. Uh, although the buff for the season is the community effect is uh, basically uh, the nightmares, nightmare set. Um, that might be fun to experiment with. So this should be a fun season, guys. All right, so we're going to make sure that we're on adventure mode. I'm not going to worry about doing campaign. Um, and we'll go ahead and get in here. I'll kind of continue showing you some of my tips here. So you're going to need to focus on your standard rifts. But you're going to want to continue to do it to push the rank level up well above 50. You know, and as you're doing those rifts, you're going to be leveling up. You're going to be leveling up your Paragon levels. And you're going to want to just, you know, stay on a certain build and just fill this in. Once you get up to, you know, maybe 100 Paragon levels, 50 to 100 Paragon levels, you should be outfitted enough to obtain your set dungeon mastery and we'll show you on this uh here in a little bit we'll, we'll put that link up and let's go ahead and get in here and we're just going to run a standard riff so we can get a feel for her. now this is what i have for equipment all right i don't have my preferred weapons which i really don't know exactly what i'm going to be using for a preferred weapon right now i'm just using the best of what i've got um which really isn't much so once we take a look at this you can go ahead and pause it and check out exactly what the set does um, i don't have I got Inarius' uh, set, but I'm only wearing the five pieces out of six because in my K9 cube, of course, I have the Ring of Royal Grandeur, which I picked up. Uh, it was like level 23 ring. So that actually is going to help me out a little bit. And doesn't matter what level the, the item is if you're going to destroy it in K9 cube and extract the power. All right, so... Here are my skills. I got Devour Aura, you know, and I've got the Witch is going to keep my essence up. And then my Aura of uh, Fertility. Here you go. <laughs> so, and then of course I've got Skeletons on that one, Command Golem on my main uh, mouse button, the left mouse button, and then on the right mouse button I've got Skeletal Mage, which does uh, contamination. Um, it's just like an aura of, of decay. And then of course, bone armor. That is it, exactly what this build does is bone armor. Now, because I'm explaining this, I'm not going for any set records. It's kind of why we're doing a normal run for this one. And then, you know, maybe we'll do a, I'm not even going to worry about those guys. It's just trash. Now this is Torment 7. It's not too It's not not too bad. And as you can see with the bone armor build, it's pretty cool. I'm still on the lookout for items. I'm not gonna you know the the blues and stuff I'll pass on. I'll get my veil crystals and some stuff like that if they fall, but And I'm just going to uh, basically walk on through. And this is basically all this is. is rin rinse and repeat on a level that you can complete rifts on fairly quickly. Um, this character, I'm able to complete rifts 
on about uh, I, I I'd say four and a half to five minute riffs. So all in all, it's not that bad. It's good. I have a lot of uh, what I, w I would say, you know, garbage weapons and stuff. Um, I need better equipment, that's for sure. And the only way to get the better equipment is really to get out here and do it. You have to put you have to put the time in. And that's why they say, you know, to keep your rips uh, time um, to about six minutes. So if you're doing, say, I went to, like, say, Torment 10. I was doing a Torment 10 rift or so or, or uh, you know, level 40 rift or whatever. Then um, if I'm doing that eight minutes... I need to bring my rift level down because that's really not that's not fast enough you know it's about repetition you know repetition you know getting it getting in and out you know quickly uh, you want to make sure that you can cycle them fairly fast to give your chance the best possible uh, uh, give yourself the best possible chance in getting the best possible equipment in the fastest fashion. So. And a lot of times, you know, you're going to find, you know, we all know we're going to find these pylons and stuff. Speed pylon really helps. And whenever you come across, you know, any of the bosses using this bone armor build, just hit bone armor. And they just, I don't know, they just die quickly. Really don't have to worry about it much. You do want to make sure you keep bone armor on at all times in this build. I'm sure there are other builds to make this faster. If you guys know of any or know of any of the equipment, please help us all out and put that down in the comments. You know, it'd be kind of cool to hear your guys's. Uh, personal aspects uh, as I've stated in my previous videos with uh, Diablo 3 I've been playing it for years I'm not saying I'm bullheaded but I really don't I really don't look stuff up I, I like I like to kind of try to figure stuff out on my own you know but uh, since I started this channel I really love it when people reach out and kind of give their give their opinions um, it kind of makes the whole discussion a little bit better, you know, let's empower the mastermind and see right there, because I used my bone armor a little early. I went ahead and laid down one of those, uh, mages, you know, which I'll lay down a few more of them and then bone armor. Yeah, this is a pretty much a slow map, but yeah, I'm doing all right. I always got too much stuff on me. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what's your guys' uh, favorite necromancer build? Or do you even have one? Do you even like the necromancer? I, I I do. I like the Necromancer, not just because they're newer. Um, get this power pylon. Yeah, here we go. We'll take care of that Rift Guardian. All right, so I can't hold anything on me. All right. Yeah, so you guys just hanging out with uh, with Tusk Reaper. Appreciate you joining this video. 
we're just gonna play for a little bit you know what the heck what else have we got going on today you know just got the normal stuff I'm not gonna worry about it I'm not gonna go talk to York yet Auric, not York. Auric. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to him. If I talk to him, my portal will close. So I'm just going to go get my stuff. Let's go pick up all, all this garbage. I need rubies. I need stuff. I need stuff. So this is just with five bone armor stacks. Not very much. And I'm still doing awesome with it. So. So the. the so the first tip. With. Rifts is to make sure you can complete them within six minutes. That's meaning the greater rips, you know, five to six minutes for the greater rips. Now, if you're going to do what I'm doing here, which is something I do recommend you do, try to clear the rips, complete clear on the rips. Um, and, you know, have fun with your character. Learn your character a little bit. Especially if you had a friend or someone kind of power level you up. You know, spend this time in the standard rifts to, to tweak them. You're going to want to make sure you do that. This particular character uh, was not power level. I did not do that. I uh, do occasionally help those, you know, that request it from me. They're in need. If someone asks me, I'm, I'll do it. Unless if I'm in the middle of recording um but for the most part you know I'll, I'll stop what i'm doing and help them out yeah so if you guys uh ever catch me on diablo 3 just you know you can send me a message if you need help i'll help you out for those uh that happens to you know donate a little bit on my patreon page you can uh you know, get access to my Discord channel and, you know, we can talk directly and game a little bit more directly. If that is something you're interested in doing, just join that Patreon page and check out the different subscribe levels. My subscribe levels start at uh, just a simple dollar. That's just the kind of help me out with the uh, different equipment and gear that I'm going to eventually need. Uh, right now, the computer I'm actually using is one that I built. Uh, I actually built it just about two years ago. And it is still running great. I'm very happy with uh, the performance of this machine. Yeah, so, see, tip number three, make sure you grab, I just grab everything. Now, some say not to, if you're trying to push legendaries, kill as much stuff as you can, as quickly as you can, at the highest level you can, and don't open up any of the replenished chests or any of the other standard chests, for that matter. Um, and that helps with the proccing of higher levels, but I haven't confirmed that. That's just a rumor to me, but I guess it, I guess it might be a thing. I don't know. Again, let me know down in the comments if that's a thing. All right, so after you do your full clear um, and you, you know, basically completed your rift in just a few minutes, then uh, you just continue, rinse and repeat, just keep doing it. 
that's that's it so you want to you want to stay on your you know stay on your bounties go get yourself a canine cube and if you guys don't know where to get that your canine cube is it's going to be basin keep and ruins of Sheshiron. This is where you're going to want to go. You're going to want to go basically to the very end of this area to get the little, I don't know, little access area to uh, get to that, get to the cube. Most of you that are watching this probably already know how to get the cube. So you get your cube, put whatever you want in it. You're going to want to make sure that you kind of Put something in there, even if it seems lame, it's still going to help you out. It's better than nothing. Anything in that cube is better than nothing. And this is what I have in the cube I've got, you know, so th that one is good because because I'm putting down these auras and I'm cursing them, technically, I don't have to hit them with anything. I'm just sitting there with bone armor spinning on me, they're getting cursed automatically because of the aura, and I'm automatically dealing 200% increased damage. It, it is what it is. Now, the pox frogs, this is interesting. This is just because I don't have anything that much better <laughs> to put in here. So I've got those. All right, so I'm still in the beginning stages of acquiring acquiring stuff and then I've got the ring of royal grandeur which this ring again is helping me out um, that's kind of cool but if I have a ring I had a ring that yeah skeletal mage so I have a ring that does the same thing it's just instead of four seconds it's two seconds so that's kind of good. Because I have the Ring of Royal Grandeur, I'm able to wear the Heart of Iron, which is just really a, helping me out as far as my thorns go. Now, if you're doing a type of thorns build, you're going to want over 200,000 and greater thorns. Um, and I'm just not there yet. As I continue to level that item up, you know, for thorns then I continue to level this item up so as I smite nearby enemies every three seconds that's that's where I need to go that's why it's important to really get the, the greater rift keystones so you're going to need to do a ton of the standard Nifian uh, rifts you're going to want to just just get a crap ton of these you need you know a hundred of them yeah, I'm sure if you if you farm 100 of these on normal, then you start doing greater rifts. You're going to have so much more gear, and it's just going to come natural. Things are just going to get better. You know, as you uh, find items that are ancient, you'll swap them out with the items that aren't. Uh, meaning, if I find boots just like this that are ancient, I'm going to put them on. Right now, I I don't have any anything like that. Um, but first and foremost, you know, you, you want to make sure you have fun. You got to make sure you have fun. If you're not having fun playing the game or you're struggling, just, you know, shoot me a message. Let me know what's going on. If I can help you, I, I will. Um, if I personally can't help you, I'll maybe reach out to someone that might be able to help you. You know, that's all about, you know, how... How we do things here on this channel. We're all here to help everybody else. So I'm just going to dump this stuff in there. I'll deal with it later. All right. So now we're going to just go ahead and go run a, we're going to run a greater rift. Before I go running another rift, I want to make sure, you know, that I've got enough 
blood shard capacity that you know I come across you know maybe a two two of those blood shard you know guys that I'm okay I'll still be able to pick everything up all right now this one we're going to try to do as quickly as possible and I don't know how that happened oh yeah I guess it ended all right here we go going again I'm gonna do this on so this is as far as I've gotten so far I'm gonna do this on tournament eight um, yeah I'm gonna save my goal for now all right here we go going to the show and I'm gonna try to do this one as quickly as I can There we go. Spread that mage stuff around a little bit. Now I don't have to worry about anything. Got the shield now. Speed would have been better, but it's just like the luck of the draw though with those. Go back for those uh, little um, death counters. Those really help boost your counter level. DK and roll. Yeah, piece of garbage. All right, that section. Hope I get a good map. Good map. Good map. Good map. All right, here we go. That's why I just plastering down like three of those mages I did. That's good. I hope I'm going the right direction. I never know. Nope. <laughs> I did go the right direction. So in that case, I could have like popped a mage over there. Um, and like on the side that I'm not taking. There we go. Speed pylon. Nice. All right, hit bone armor on them. It's a, this is fun, you know. Um, it's a fun build. It's a simple build. You don't have to do a whole lot. Um, th the main focus point is have fun. You know, we'll we'll see how this character develops. You know gonna need a little bit different gear gonna need you know some ancients out of it and you know just some different stuff and play around with the skills a little bit see what best suits me for my gaming style you know how lazy do I want to be with the character um, do I you know want to stay on bone armor or do I want to try you know a different a different set of, uh, of armor tries out some different skills I think I can push yeah there we go okay it's you we'll just drop a bunch of uh... and then that was it so I still had 11 minutes and 40 seconds left so only did that in a couple of minutes. Like three minutes, 20 seconds, maybe? So I'm going to want to make sure I level that up so I get to smite nearby enemies every three seconds. That's going to be awesome. Boom. That's awesome right there. And then this is the thorns. And then, you know, I'm not too worried about that. In greater rifts you're coming across elite packs like every 20 seconds or or less 
it seems like. So we'll throw, oops, come on. One more, yay, I got one more. See, I need to try harder. So because of the failures, it really didn't matter, but higher the level, the, the less chance you have on the failures. Um, level, so to complete rifts like, you know, level 35, you know, for torment six or torment seven, torment eight will get you the gems to go from zero to almost 30 as you saw, but I'd say comfortably 25. Um, then you need to start doing more difficult rifts and uh, just kind of continue on that path. You're also going to want to change in, you know, your blood shards, of course, to get kind of what is most important that you're missing. So if, if you've got like a level 20 wrist, you know, you need to change them out, right? It's like here, I've got level 61 um, wrist. I mean, they're, they're doing the job, but they're not really doing the job. For level 70 um, so that right there is my weakest that's my weakest link so in all reality I need to see if I can if I like those and I want them I need to see if I can get them again but as level 7 um, so that's really the main focus points there Yeah, now that's a good one to have. You know, seeming we wreck a lot of objects. That one might actually make me pretty fast. Let's see what happens. If we take this one, swap it out with our thorns. How much did our thorns decrease? In all reality, it didn't really decrease that much. So it's actually worth having that one over this one at this point. So those are going to be some of the determinations that I'm going to run another greater rift, see if we can do it in just a couple more minutes. And we're going to highest level I can. And then we're going to go here. Come on, guys. And then, as you see, if I don't have bone armor on, they damage me pretty good. And then we're just going to throw that mage out. Get rid of that guy. And we're going to swing it around. Now, if I get into one of those uh, maps that is like a, a dungeon or something that has a bunch of breakables, because of that wristband I have, it's really going to speed up the process for me. I'm gonna be flying through there like some kind of crazy, some kind of crazy guy. So, so I guess real quick, let's uh, let's kind of recap. So. First things first, as you're leveling up from 1 to 70, put it on adventure mode if you, you know, give it a try and uh, just kind of go through all of the bounties. And, you know, if you want Arena Royal Grandeur, then focus a little bit more on, you know, the Act 1 bounties. And then after you complete that and you hit level 70, you're going to have a lot of those Roderick chests to open. And that's, that's going to be kind of a good thing. I let my bone armor expire because I was talking. So after you, you do that, then you're going to want to start on, you know, the Nephian rifts. 
Maybe do a few of those, get a couple of gems. Then you're going to want to focus on your chapters, completing your chapters so you get you get your armor. I would say you wouldn't want to do any more than maybe 10 Nephian rifts um, while in transition from uh, 70 to getting your armor. You're going to want to uh, make sure you do focus on getting your armor pretty soon. And then a bunch of, you know, yeah. Yeah, so I would focus on getting your armor, then doing the Nephian rips. Yeah, I really not coming across very many breakables in this in this run here. And I'll send my boys after him. All right. And then you're going to want to replace. You're going to want to make sure that you replace uh, items that um, you get improved. You, you improve upon. There we go. Oh, maybe I can grab that one. One more. All right. I need to get some to 35. That's kind of like my next thing. Yeah, so you're going to want to make sure that you get your objectives complete, you know, for your uh, chapters. And then you can continue on to uh, Slayer. Uh, let's see. So chapter four. Once you complete chapter four, get this cute guy, this little pet. Who doesn't want to? Who doesn't want a cute little Groot-looking type pet? You know, and that's uh, to all you adventure fans out there. I'm one of them. Gotta love them. All right. So we'll we'll check out, see what that time was. Four minutes, 45 seconds right there. Not bad. So tier 35, the one I did before, was at 319. A little bit harder, but I also had... I had I had a poor map. I had a, had a bad map, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. Still well under six minutes. Um, who doesn't like that? So... And let's see if there's any improvements. You know, that's really the main focus point. Improve what you can. And, uh, you know what? Garbage, garbage. No ancients. I'm not going to worry about that because of what this does. This. So I have this item damages enemies, you know, that are, that are within 25 yards, sometimes knocks them to the air. And then I have thorn damage, right? Which is just fine. Then I have this item, which, you know, smites. 15% chance when I hit something to smite it. And then every three seconds, it smites every nearby enemy automatically. And then I've got uh, increased damage from that gem, Bane of the Powerful. Then when we look at my canine cube, I've got fox crawl, crawls, and uh, that does more weapon damage just by them being close to me. I've got my bone armor going on, which does increase damage. So these are kind of the things I'm using all together to kind of make this build work a little bit easier. And I went with all Intel gems so far. I'm improving them as I go along. 
and that's something that you're going to want to also do. All right, guys, so there's a little twist on how I do things uh, this season, season 17 with the Necromancer. And uh, as you can see, things are things are kind of working out. Um, she's pretty powerful, really happy about how the build's coming along. It's just you got to put the time in. You got to put the time in, uh, you know, rinse and repeat. The game does uh, does get a little boring, but uh, if you, the, you know, the, the, the real goal here is for Diablo 3 is to really get to the, the end game and surpass that and to get the primal ancients and, you know, try to achieve the highest tier possible greater uh, rifts. Really, that's, to me, that's really the goal. That's, that's the fun part. Nothing like achieving one of those goals when you're pulling in a level 80, 85 greater rift and you're looking at yourself saying, that's right, I finally did it. So that's really the goal, guys. You can do it. Just keep at it. You have to play. You know, uh, what's that saying? You have to pay to play. And what you're paying is time. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next episode.